Allie, God brought us together. <laughs> we will center our lives on his plans and trust his, his vision. I truly believe that centering our existence on him will guide us through all this world. <laughs> all this world can throw at us. Listen to the readings at Mass. Feel them. Believe them. Dear Rob. <laughs> How glorious it is that we have been called together to witness the miracle of love. A miracle in God's providence, the love of Robert and Allison. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us call to mind all those who have shared the meaning of the mystery of marriage with us. Let us to God give thanks for them. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. We can do this. <laughs> yes, we can. Okay. <laughs> this wedding is a miracle. Think of all that had to be arranged to make this moment possible. Think each of your parents, they had to meet. They had to date, the first date, they had to fall in love. They raised you in a certain way which contributed to what you love in each other. I don't even know the miracle of your first date. You picked this church on this day and here we are. A miracle is about to happen. Come now and show us the miracle. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, declare now your consent before God and the church. I, Robert, take you, Allison. I, Robert, take you, Allison. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and I will honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You came home one, one winter break and said, told us you wanted to go to law school and we pleaded with you not to do that. <laughs> and it was because job prospects just weren't that great when you guys started law school. And we just completely underestimated your iron will, your determination, and your abilities. And I am so proud of you. The second piece of advice we gave her was, don't get involved with anybody in law school. <laughs> Focus on your studies. That lasted less than a week. <laughs> I thank God that you found the perfect match and that you will be soaring together with Rob now. And all the four of us ask is that you line your nest with lots of babies. <laughs> I, Allison, take you, Robert. I, Allison, take you, Robert. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The bond we've created over the course of his life is one of the reasons that the best thing in my life has been to be a father to Rob and his siblings. And as they fell in love, it was clear to Mary and me that this young lady was exactly what Rob needed. As Brian said, she's sweet, but she's strong. She can be very flexible, but she can be stubborn at the right time. And she challenges Rob to be a better person and a better man.
You'll get all sorts of wisdom and advice from people, but my main piece of advice is this. You have to cling to one another. After your faith, and maybe a good sense of humor, the most important thing is your marriage. Your marriage will be successful if you learn to pray together. You'll be great parents if you take care of your marriage first. Close out the rest of the world frequently and focus on what you feel about one another right here, right now, today, in front of all of these wonderful family and these friends that love you. So I'm going to propose a toast, and that is to rally, pray together, laugh forever, share with one another, and cling to each other. We love you. Rally. People of God, I invite you to congratulate Robert and Allison Perfisky.